So boys, in the corner there, one blind. In the corner there, one window. Loving the the blackout blinds with Northampton to borrow uh, bin bags, but I hate the bleeding light. So uh, you know, us vampires and all that. No, I just don't like it because I'm uh, facing the sun in the morning. So it's just, you know what I'm talking. So uh, I'm going to have to actually black that out proper because it never did work. But anyway, so I'm pulling me blind last night straight off the bloody hinges. So that's job one. Right, let's go out here. Yeah, right, let me grab this. I know what this is. You got yourself chewing. Right, where should we go in here? Let's turn a bit of light on. Now, boys, you know me, I love a parcel. I just want to say, oops, I just want to say a massive shout out to Leslie's mum. Love you, Leslie's mum. I hope you get to watch this. Uh, there's a bottle of gin coming your way, love. Because uh, you know I'm coming to Scotland anyway to see you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Well, if you want me to dress, just rewind and pause it. It's very hard. I should have. See what Liz is. Oh, what? Are you serious? Now, are oh, my boys. Seriously? Oh, mate, now this relates to a question, actually it was Roller's questions and I, you know me, I plagiarised his material so I have thought of 30 questions for him and uh, one of the questions was llama or alpaca, now Les, my brother, he, f he just said Shay, he sent me a load of pictures of a load of llamas and I went, sorry alpacas, he went, do you know that conversation we had a few weeks back? I went, no, what was it? He goes, about llamas and alpacas. He goes, my mum breeds them. I'm like, are you serious? Now, if I remember rightly, his mum imported three from Peru. I'm sure it's Peru. We talked last week about it, but I didn't expect this. This is a different level of quality. Look at that. Presented beautifully. Oh, I thought the girl just sat next to the fire and done me up a hat. Seriously, I'm not opening it yet because uh, I'm blown away. Look, I asked for two pom poms. She must think, yeah, we've got a right. I ain't going to say bend or nothing like that. You know what I'm talking about? We've got, I bet we've got a right one here. And I've got two pom poms, boys. Right, I'm going to have to go and try this on. Thank you very much, Leslie's mum. Love you, sweetheart. Thank you very much indeed. Back to the blinds. Well, that's another blind I fitted the other week. Well, I fitted four blinds, and that's the first one that fell down, and that's from the kitchen there. So today, I'll be fitting blinds. Back to my alpaca. I'm much more happy with that. Honestly, boys, I cannot tell you how good the quality of this is. Honestly, I thought Leslie's mum was just going to rustle me up like a hat at the side of a bleeding fire. This is this is just pure quality, guys. Look, Crystal Athena. I don't know if you see that. Highland alpacas. Paca. Is that Pacha cut one? Pacha cut on your arm. But look, seriously, look. 100% pure Scottish alpaca. It's got the washing instructions. I'm sure Les has just gone out and bought this, you know what I mean? He's going to slap me for saying that. So is his mum. Look at that, look. A little alpaca there. That's actually wood, guys, yeah? And this, look, 
the piece de la resistance. That's leather. It's unbelievable. I just want to say thank you so much, uh, Leslie's mum, dude. It's even got the Celtic like, band on it. Beautiful. I, I, I've just put it on. It is bleeding beautiful. Heavy as... I tell you, you ain't going to go cold in that. You ain't going to go cold, cold in that. Leslie's mum, thank you, love. Les, you're a diamond, dude. Thank you very much. Hope to find you well this evening, guys. Packing the alpaca look. I love you, know. Beautiful, isn't it? Love it. And I asked for two pom poms. <laughs> anyway, people have advised me not to do this alone, but um, you know how many times I've took people's advice in my life. Um, I'm going to go and do a random nautical myself. A, because no one wants to come with me, and uh, B, no one wants to come with me. And I've got no mates. I'm going to go do it myself. It's a Monday night. I, Scott's got a 60 hour week and uh, Jamie's spending the night with his missus so you know I'll see Jamie in the morning for breakfast no I won't I'll see him for lunch in the afternoon right I hope this goes well for a bit of ghost hunting get a bit of sustenance visit to the old golden gates big up self farmer McDonald. Yeah, that little stint in prison I've done, fucking hell, it ain't even worth talking about. But for myself, that's what I could see. I never got in trouble again with the law, thank God. Yeah, that was the first thing I'd done. Soon as I got out, McDonald's got hammered. Nothing worse than that, hearing the lock of the door and you can't do nothing about it. So this is the first thing that's happened weird tonight. I charged this up, my charger. You know, your battery pack. Charged it up fully. It's not working. Not working, just about as I'm going to go and use random nautica. Right, get some beers and then I'm going to use random nautica. Oh, and look who turned up. No oh, fucking day boy. She's not fucking turning off. You ain't gonna believe what I've just done. Where? All right, mate. One minute. Yeah, I went in the shop. Went for me wallet. No wallet. Went for me bank card. No bank card. I had to walk back to the van. I can check me pocket. I've only got ten in me pocket, you know. And I only went for four pairs. What a plum. I can't even blame that on the random nautical, because that's just me being a plum. Right, I'm going to put in my position now and get um, what, what do I call it, a tag or whatever. I'm going to find out where I'm going to. So I've just generated my first... Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come show me, yeah? Red House Lane I've got to go to. Red House Lane, guys, so I'm going to go straight there now. And my intention was scary, so we'll see if anything scary happens. So, just heading out for my random nautical adventure. An old Bentley's billowing white frigging smoke. Damien reckons his head gasket. I think Bentley's on the full 20 personally. Smoke some of that good cheese. So here I am on Red House Road. Nothing scary happened. Only, let's see if we can change this. I nearly bleeding crashed the van for the second time. Oh, what's he going in and out for? Concentrate, dude, all your volume and your zoomings. Yeah, so, the first place I nearly crashed the van about two weeks ago is about 100 metres away. And what happened is I pulled up here, van sticking over, I'm just texting Jamie, he says, you're mad for going out alone. Um, and the fucking van just started rolling back and the handbrake's on. So that's the only scary thing that happened. That's me being stupid though. Ain't no ghost done that. Right, 
to be honest. Boys, I've just been up the tiniest English lane called Cracknuts Lane in Great Houghton. Scary as fuck. Um, I had to come out there because it's all private houses and the random nautical thing will take you into private land and it, you've got to accept them terms and conditions and you, they won't take responsibility. So I'm right in the corner of Cracknuts Lane. I'm going to do the speed box now. I've got my other camera recording, so hopefully I'll be able to work this into a video somehow at some point. Right. This fucking camera's been doing this all night. I'm pressing it to go off and it won't go off. See what I mean? Look, what a cunt. Turn the fuck off. I don't know what's going on. My battery's got nothing. The charge of fucking things. Thanks for tuning in again, you savages. Please hit that like button, share and subscribe. Take care out there, guys. God bless. What a night I've had, boys. This is part one. Check out the live in part two. That rando nautica. Please, please, guys, if you ever do it, never do it yourself. Never do it yourself. Right, rando nautica is frightening. Take it from me. Watch part two. You'll see a black cat in a window. When I'm having a heart attack, when I'm about to die, it's the last thing I needed was a black cat in a dark alleyway. It's sitting in the window looking at me when I'm having a heart attack. But before that, this um, app tried sending me into the woods. Into the woods. You'll see in part two. And I had a panic attack. I was like, I ain't going to go in no woods. So I reversed out of there. But you know what? I won't tell you too much about it. All I'll say, a pair of legs. When I'm coming down the road and there's a pair of legs hanging over a wall and you're frightened already, what are you going to do? And I'm like, should I go back and check that they're a pair of legs? Or do you carry on like most people wouldn't get out of there? Because you're by yourself, you're listening to ghosts. They're winding you up. I'm winding them up. It's the only way you get a good response out of a ghost. If you give them a, bit, a little bit of attitude and they come back with more attitude. And... <sighs> do me a favour, guys. i am just got home now. It's half one in the morning. Excuse me. It's a dumb thing to do that, that uh, rando Norka by yourself. I'd done three destinations tonight. I'd done two industrial estates. Nothing happened there except my van, 100 metres away from where I nearly had the accident two weeks ago, when the handbrake mysteriously, well, it just went off. And then tonight it done the same. It done the same. And I did ask for scary on the second one, and that's what happened. Maybe my own fault, maybe my own randomness. I, don't, I can't put it down to the rando nork, but it's weird I asked for scary, nothing happened. And then that happened again, 100 metres away from what happened the first time. That's when me and Tim Timoney had breakfast. And that's about two or three miles from where I live, so I'm not up there every week. It's really random. I feel drained. I feel drained. Please watch part two. It might be a bit long, I forget how long it went for, but this is why you don't do random nautical car by yourself. Wherever you are, guys, take care, God bless. And if you haven't already, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Good night, God bless, bye-bye.